Earth. Yeah. Speaking of Earth, what, how do you feel about the people that think it's only six thousand years old? Uh, it's they, they if they think that they think that because that is mandated by their religious philosophy. Mm. Exactly. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, just keep it out of the science classroom. That that's all. I, I don't try to confuse that with doing science. Mm. Science, we have learned. Science has completely transformed our culture. It's doubled our life expectancy. It has brought comfort and uh, health and well-being. And, and not only science, but the fruits of science, the technological fruits oh, yeah. of science. And, of course, you need to be good shepherds of this power because in the wrong hands, it could be used for evil. All right? This is the great sort of evil. dichotomy of great the great... Uh, of unlocking the secrets of nature. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I don't, I'm not going to fight them to tell them the universe is not just 6, stay out of your way. No, 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 not my, just the science classroom. Right. No, no. And, and, and if you want to put it in the science classroom, understand the ramifications, right? Mm. Your country will go bankrupt because you will no longer be in a position to forge the economies of tomorrow that will require uh, science and technological innovation. And at least the next question, because a few people on the lines are asking, do you believe in God? I, I, I'm not convinced. If, if, here, here's the thing. If every, every time I talk about God with someone who's a believer, God is, is, is all-powerful and all-knowing and, and, and all-good, right? The, the good is a big part of this. Mm -hmm. And then I look at, all the ways Earth wants to kill us. <laughs> Strike uh, you know, a tsunami takes out a quarter million people, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, floods. And, and I add all of that up. Either the God is not all powerful or is not all good. <laughs> yeah. But it can't really be both given all the ways the universe wants to kill us. And, 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 and if, if Earth is not uh, finished killing you, there's the asteroid that could come in. Right. An asteroid rendered 70% of all life forms extinct back in uh, the, the famous one in 65 million years ago that took out the dinosaurs. So there's so many ways to die, not at the hands of someone else who has free will, mm -hmm. that I, I don't know what what is the nature of the God that you're talking about? I, I, I got to like try to like use your logic back at you. Uh -huh. But don't we define what, what is good and what is bad? So we see a tsunami wipe out a whole bunch of people. And we're, we're as human beings going, wow, that's bad. Because we define what bad is. Maybe in God's brain, eyes, whatever the hell, that, that's not bad. Well, but except you defined what God is. Oh, boy. Wow. Now that's, you did it. That's so why, why do you have the power to define who and what God is, right. but not have the power to define what good is. Yeah, my point is we, we just don't know it all. Not even oh, close. Oh, 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 sure. So, so therefore, uh, if you're going to say God actually is good and a quarter million people dying from an earthquake and a tsunami and, and other natural disasters, right. um, and God presumably has control over that and God is good, then we have to then say God works in mysterious ways, right? Yeah, so there that, you go. That's that, but people only say that when their understanding of God fails them. When right? it's a, something bad. No, no, when they can't understand <laughs> it, they say, well, God works in mysterious right, right, ways. Right, but yeah, somehow, in these other ways, you did understand him. Right. How are you saying, well, this is the, this is the handiwork of God. Is you're doing God's work. God wants you to do this. Somehow you know God's motives every other way. Mm -hmm. when, but when a quarter million people get wiped out, God works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. why, do you, why, why do you even claim to have access to God's mind in some contexts and not others. Oh, exactly. Just admit you have no clue right. and get on with life. That's how I look at it. We just don't have a, a clue when it comes down to it. Well, I'd like to think that preserving being... health and longevity, that is a nice operational definition of something that's good. Right. How can you argue? Why? How can you debate something that keeps you alive?